All right, today I want to talk about um, using Google Draw just for some basic drawing functions and how to make things because if you're using Google Draw for the first time, um, you're probably going into the shapes and thinking like, oh, I can make a smiley face or I can make a star or, you know, just really kind of boring basic stuff, but you can do a lot with Google Draw. Um, so this is just a quick overview. Um, of things that you can do and how you can go about building things. So the first drawing that I have here, this M, was I was showing a student how to create like a three-dimensional letter shape and what you could do. Now, these are not the only way how to do things. This is just one of the ways that we were exploring. Um, and basically, you use Google Draw by doing a series of shapes that you kind of overlay. So what I did here was I went in and grabbed the shape that was the three-dimensional kind of a square rectangle cube. And then... I went in and I did insert uh, word art and I typed the letter M and if I make it bold, it makes it a little bit thicker and I can drag the corners out to meet my uh, cube and I can use my line tool. If I hold down the shift key, it keeps it like straight. Um, and I can add those in wherever I wanted to add them. I can shrink them down. So you can kind of go in and build your shapes using some of those different tools. So this is a shape, a word art, a line tool to kind of fill in and build out stuff. Now, let's move that over. Other objects can be built by overlapping shapes as well. So this is an emoji of like a hand with a peace sign. And you can do things like building objects from other shapes. So if I start with a circle and I fill it with a shape that's kind of like the shape we're dealing with, that's a little too dark. Let's jump. Okay, make the outline transparent. Now I can start making other shapes and layering them on top. Um, there's a couple different options here. The rounded rectangle is still a little bit too square. Uh, the snip and round, round same side. I don't know. Let's just try this. Yeah, it's not super rounded, but um, the point here is that you can see how I could take this shape, tilt it a little bit, copy, paste, tilt that one, make it the other direction. Now, if I want to give that shadow, I could simply paste paste a couple more of these, fill it with a darker color, move them to the back. Send backwards is control and the down arrow. Um, and then I can move it over so that it becomes a, too many shapes, um, so it becomes a shadow behind the first uh, shape. So again, turning, moving it over, filling it in. This is not perfect, but pull down moves that back. I can actually move it farther and move it behind the circle if I want. Um, not perfect, but you get the general idea how I get started on this and, and kind of move there. Now, those are for some really basic shapes. If you want to get more fancy, you can actually start layering shapes and using the curve tool. So one of the things that's kind of important with Google Draw is that I have a lot of students that'll click on the scribble and they'll go, oh, I'm, I'm drawing, I'm making a thing and I'm drawing a heart or I'm drawing a star or whatever the thing happens to be. And they draw it and then they say, oh, how do I fill this in? Because there's no paint bucket tool. Well, you can't fill in a scribble. You can just draw with a scribble. You can make the scribble really thick and you can change the color of the scribble, but that's where it ends. So, other than the scribble tool, there's another tool in Google Draw that's called the curve tool. The curve tool allows you to click and move, click and move, click and move, click and move to create a variety of shapes. And if you go back to your start point, see how it kind of magnetizes there and closes? It fills that shape with, there's the bucket, any kind of color you want the outline, any kind of color you want. Now, the way this is very useful is in trying to draw more realistic uh, kind of organic shapes, 
like this roller skate here. So this is more complicated. It takes more time. But what I do is I layer shapes right on top of a photograph. So you can see how this image of the skate fits exactly on top of that photograph. Because what I did was I took this picture and I used the curve tool and I clicked and moved around it to create the shapes that I wanted. I'm doing this really fast when I do it as a final piece. I take much longer on it and I'm way more careful, but you get the idea. So I would get that, fill it with transparent. So that way I have the outline of the shape and then use the curve tool again to start doing some of the smaller details on top. So it layers the small shapes on top of the large shapes. So for example, that would be the filler of the uh, stripe. So now I can go in and I can either fill from like pre-existing or I can use an extension to help me like pick the colors um, on the shoes and on the picture to get it more exact. But I go back in and I fill in, um, oh geez, fill that with white, select the bigger shape, fill that maybe with the gray. And you can see where this kind of starts to take shape but here's one that's more complete that I've spent more time on and I've certainly got more details on, but it's still not perfect. So you can get into the amount of detail you want to get into, but that's one way that you would create more um, involved shapes in your drawing. So you can do lots of really cool things with Google Draw just by uh, working with your overlapping layers of shapes and working with that um, curve tool and uh, do a lot of really impressive things. So try it and I think you'll like it as much as I do. Bye.